In the 60s and 70s, bowling professionals were gods. When most people think of bowling alleys, they think of greasy food, foot fungus, and dudes like the one in the Big Lebowski. Maybe they're right, but bowling is making a comeback in a big way. And some decided to trade in the stale smells and the grungy decor to prepare for the ultimate comeback. Our first hot spot is Punch Bowl Social, based in Denver, Colorado. It's more than just pins and strikes. It's their high-end scratch kitchen and enormous signature punch bowls served up to a crowd that includes everyone from hipsters, cougars, college boys, and more. Next is Mustang Alley's in Baltimore, Maryland. Of course, you can't beat uh, all the uh, Maryland blue crab we have on the menu. That's a uh, tradition here in Baltimore. 12 lanes of pure pleasure equipped with four duck pin lanes and eight regular lanes. Duck pin bowling's got smaller balls, smaller pins, and it's a Baltimore tradition. For a true family fun center, check out Western Bowl and Spare in Cincinnati, Ohio. With 68 lanes to bowl, this place makes Kingpin look like amateur hour. Now, if you haven't been to Splitsville Lanes in Tampa, here's how they roll. If you want some brew to go with your bowling, they've got happy hour from 4 to 7, Thursday through Sunday, that you don't want to miss. And finally, Lucky Strike in Phoenix, Arizona is the combination of metro and retro, making it hipster heaven and fun for everyone. So we're really proud of our new menu. We have a gastro pub style menu. The trend is bowling's becoming more of a, a it's re-entering the market as something that you can do that doesn't have the same moniker as let's say Kingpin or some of the old movies uh, of the past like Uncle Buck. I'm not going bowling. Come on, it's a great sport and it's virtually impossible to get pregnant while doing it. Getting your mind out of the gutter across America.